Well, testimony has now started in the trial of Christopher Palmitter. Palmitter is the stepfather of missing Cornelius girl, Madalena Kojikari, and he is charged with failing to report her disappearance. And Madalena was last seen in November of 2022. Police, they say Palmitter and the girl's mother, Diana Kojikari, did not tell anyone she disappeared until weeks later. WCNC Charlotte Jesse Pierre has been in the courtroom all day long and joins us now live to give us an update on what happened inside court. Jesse. Well, after several days of jury selection, we now have a jury of 12 people, one woman and 11 men. The trial got underway at around 1.30 this afternoon and attorneys on both sides laid out their cases. From November the 22nd to December the 15th, 23 days went by where he didn't know the location of Madeline and Coach Carter. And that is what the state's done in this case. The state has made assumptions as to what Chris knew. I've introduced myself a number of times, so I don't think. Christopher Palmer is facing a felony charge for failing to report his stepdaughter Madalena missing in court today. The prosecution brought up two witnesses. The first one, the bu a bus driver, Tina Rory, who picked up and dropped off Madalena from and to school and also saw her on November 21st. November 21st is the last time Madalena was publicly seen. Surveillance video from that school bus on that day was played during the trial. Rory got emotional when speaking about about Madalena during that time. Madalena's Guidance counselor Denise Lamkin also called to the stand. She spoke about several attempts to reach both Madalena's parents. She testified that calls and emails were sent to Palmeter and Diana Kojakari, Madalena's mother. Lamkin said in court that after so much missed time, she began to worry. And I had become very concerned um, because I was getting a call back and no indication as to whether she was sick or she had been taken to the doctor, if she's okay, I didn't to hear from someone, and I heard nothing from either parent. And so um, I wanted to follow procedure and make the home visit. Limkin did eventually get in contact with Diana, who was told to show up with Madalena to school on December 15. Diana came, but without Madalena. Police were eventually called. Now the defense tried to make their case by poking holes at Palmer's legal guardianship or relationship to Madalena, noting that school enrollment forms were signed by Diana despite Palmer being listed as the emergency contact and as Madalena's father. A sick note also completed on a school web portal to excuse Madalena from school from November 28th to December 1st was noted to be also completed by Diana Kojakari on December 2nd. Now, during this trial, we are expected to hear from members of Cornelius Police as well as members of the FBI. Now, the trial reconvenes on Tuesday at 11 a.m. We will be here and we will have your updates as soon as we get them. Live in Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. All right, appreciate that. Thank you so much, Jesse. We'll continue to follow the court proceedings as you heard Jesse talk about the Madalena Kojakari saga. It's been going up and down since the very beginning. You can catch yourself up on the case by scanning the QR code there on the screen. There we have an interactive timeline for you to look at. You can also find it on our website and our mobile app.